Good morning. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Shop Talk with Leslie and Jamie. Yes, those are us. That is us. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, feeling a little low energy this week. We're a little behind schedule, but that's okay. We're here. We're here. <laughs> Definitely kind of low energy this week. Yeah, I don't know what's don't up know. with that. Maybe it's the mid-February, like, bleh. Yeah. You know, just... Yeah, there's not, uh, yeah, it's a weird time of year. It is. Um, at least the weather turned around. That's true. You know what, though? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I had gotten my brakes replaced in, like, October or November. Yeah. Yes. And for the last month, they are so loud. Like, when I'm going through a so park. squeaky? Yes. Ugh. When I go through a parking lot, I just, like, tap, tap, tap the brake because if I, like, step on it, it is embarrassingly loud. <laughs> and it's going on for, like, a month. So, finally, I call the place I get the brakes on I'm like listen like this is the issue he's like just bring it in like we'll we'll probably just end up replacing them like they're under warranty no big deal so I bring it in all day on Monday no Tuesday that car would not make the sound so they didn't replace them do you think they just washed them maybe I don't know (laughs) because everybody but like shit I know. Everybody I told who was, I was like, oh, my God, they're not going to replace it. Or, like, they can't make it make the sound. Or they can't hear what oh, I'm hearing. Yeah. They were like, are you kidding me? Like, I can hear you coming down the block. <laughs> like, it's so, I was, like, so pissed because it was just, like, of course, the one day in a month, it doesn't make the sound at all. So I'm convinced that they, like, flicked a pebble out or something. <laughs> and are they making it now? No. Well, it very well could be they maybe washed them. Maybe. To, so that they could look at them. And maybe that's all they needed? Yeah, he called me in the morning. He's like, hey, like my mechanic took it out and he can't hear it. And I said, no, you don't understand. It's not a matter of like, if you listen real close, can you hear that? It's like, <laughs> like here I all come. you can hear. Like when, like if I stop for a pedestrian, they are like, <gasps> <laughs> like so anyways, it's not making the sound now. So I don't know. I, I think they did something. <laughs> They're just trying to gaslight me or something. I don't know. It's all in your head. I, apparently. Mm-hmm. And I was truly feeling like, oh, I, I'm i crazy. Right. Like, I must be crazy. But then when I picked up my car, you know when your car has, like, a defect and you just, uh, you unknowingly adapt to it? Like, let's right. say you drive a stick or something. And every time you sh- shift into third, it, like, kind of grinds. So you just learned how to, like, make it not do that. Right. And then you get in a new car and you realize, like, you still do that thing. That's what I was like in my freaking car. And I was like, I did not adapt this <laughs> weird, like, tap, tap, tap system for my brakes <laughs> without there being a problem. I refuse to. <laughs> right. Refuse to be gaslit. Well, they, I'm sure they probably did something. They must have. And they maybe wanted to save you embarrassment. So they just... So well, like, either way, it's embarrassing. <laughs> well, they literally were just being like, oh, there was a pebble. We didn't replace it. I would be like, okay, great. But just to be all right, like... And right. it just won't. And I mean, trying to make it make the sound, but I won't do it now. Oh, my goodness. So anyways, that's... That oh, is, that is something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was this week. That's the update. I get to go to QuiltCon in a uh, week after next. Ooh. So I'm counting down the days for that. Nice. Oh... And I saw somebody. Oh, hi, Marlene mm. from Cabo. Oh, <laughs> we miss you. <laughs> we hope it's beautiful down yeah, there. We do. And that you get to see some whales, maybe. Oh, that'd be so nice. Um, and you're stitching in the sunshine. Yes. Mm, okay. So, quilt's con. Quilt con. Yes. Um, and I saw somebody's um, real last sign about like what all they're making for clothes and bags oh. to go to quilt con. Oh. And. So now I kind of want to do something, but Lord knows I don't have the time. But um, what's an oh. extra four hours off your sleep every night to get it done, <laughs> Jamie? Seriously. To make a new coat, a new bag, you know? Honestly. Yeah. No. Could you? Well, and we wear <laughs> So Tight's t-shirts, so my wardrobe is covered. Right. Too. The uniform. The uniform. As it were. Yes. So, um, oh yeah, I'm really excited. Where is QuiltCon? It's in Atlanta this year. Where was it last year? Nashville, Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix. So somewhere like that. <laughs> yeah. I get around. Been, I've never <laughs> been to Atlanta. So, you know, that'll be fun. Yeah. See a new city. How how many days is it? QuiltCon itself is four. Right. Um, but we go down, we go down a couple of days early because, well, travel day and then to set up and so tight sponsors the happy hour on the Wednesday oh, night. Nice. Like before it open, when you can like register, get your goodie bag. Um, and there's a little happy hour, so so tight sponsors that, and we have a little table there. Nice. So, yeah, and then show goes Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, tear down Sunday, 
uh, put the stuff back in the FedEx box, ship it back to Montana, and then come home Monday. That's busy. Yeah, it is busy, but it's fun. Yeah. And we're looking forward to seeing some of our quilty friends down there. Mm-hmm. So, because mm-hmm. I guess there's like, that's when you do events like that, that's the only place you would probably see them. Hey? Right. Yeah. Right. Nice little place to conjugate. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be fun. It'll cool. Be fun. Fun. And hopefully the weather's nice. That's always a bonus, but I don't know. I haven't even checked. <laughs> All right. Should we? Shall we? You guys want to know what's new this week? Hi, Carolyn. How's the snow? I hear it's nice out there <laughs> right now. Where is she? Uh, Kelowna. Oh, okay. Yes. My husband was just here skiing and he had really good snow. So that's good. <laughs> All right. We'll get, we got to breeze through a few little updates thing. Flower vase kit from Tilda. Yes. The remaining solids have shipped. Ooh. We'll be finishing kitting probably next week, shipping the week after. Nice. So if you are wanting one of these kits... There's still a few available, so flower vase kit. Yes, That's don't there. be don't be like embroidered flower on it where you miss out. <laughs> Major fall. <laughs> yeah, don't don't <laughs> d- do that to yourself. <laughs> then the other thing that's in is the um, yes. the pattern for the falling in love kits, which is those um, the little the, table runner. Yeah, so they're kitted for the table runner. This is obviously um, the quilt quilt, but they're so. If cute. you wanted to make a quilt, you could probably just get a couple of kits and be able to do the whole thing um and then there was two different colorways on them one was like super fuchsia and pink and then this other one that's a little bit more kind of in the reds and peachy pink peachies yeah super cute fun super quick project i think hey like yeah maybe like just a yeah. quick little project mm-hmm. yeah so that's here mm-hmm. patterns took a little bit longer than i was hoping to get in because you know valentine's day is next week but mm, whatever it's a quick project it is quick because speaking of quick projects Yes. And <laughs> Valentine's Day. Yes. These, oops, little spool pincushion kits. So they come like this. All you need is a hot glue gun. And you just glue the little ball onto the wooden spool, tie a little bow, stick the pins in, and you got a little gift. It is a super cute way to gift the pins. Yes. Right? Like, I mean, the pins are a great gift because they're so adorable, but, like, that's just a really cute way to give them a vessel to travel upon to the recipient. And do you remember what we called this one? Uh, just love, maybe? No, I no. think love. Just, like, love. just love? It, okay. Literally, just love. And then that one is just so, I think. Uh, like, okay. called just so. And then this one, just so. Come, uh, Jamie I really. I think you already opened this one, so. Yeah. I'm Jamie sorry, loves Allison. the. Um, when things are in plastic and it's well, shiny. you can't see it. So the little dark red ball. Cute. Cute little bow. And then this just sewing, just sew pins. Super cute. What is that? Um, I like the, the pin that is a pin cushion. I think that that's really fun. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> and then the, la- the third of the three kits so is... Cute. A little white felt ball and bumblebee little pins. Beekeeper pins. So this one is called beekeeper or just bees? Beekeeper. It's called beekeeper. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, very those cute. are the three. Little. Do you have a favorite set of pins out of those three? Um, I, I think maybe this one because I made this. I made the little sample of it. So you're. Bias. <laughs> yeah. Partial. But theory. I also really love the bees. Mm. See, I don't I would normally would be bees, um, but there is something about this today that oh, just yeah. seems extremely charming to mm-hmm. me. So I'm gonna go with the just so yes. just pin the school kit. Okay. <laughs> we'll put those back together later. But those are yes, the little the three little should I show all the pins? <sighs> there. Oops. There. <laughs> Show them on all three Very screens. Okay. All right. No next, I let, I'm going to let you talk about the next thing. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> Excellent. So I have been on Leslie's behind. Yeah, she has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even on here, you if you've been here for a while, then you know. <laughs> to, it's a running theme. To teach a class. Yes. It, it's, and she finally came. I am doing it. <laughs> I'm going to be teaching a super beginner uh, tote, the woolen wax tote, 
from Noodlehead. Um, great if you have like if you are familiar with sewing but have never sewn a bay, like this one's for you. Very exciting stuff. Right. So it's a, it's from this Everyday Essential yes. pattern book, um, which is awesome. I was really excited about these books because they actually come with three patterns. One of them, of course, being the wool and wax, and then a couple of smaller projects. So you kind of get three in one here, and I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So uh, this is available, and sign up for the wool and wax tote is available. What days are we doing it? March March seventh. Maybe. Hang on. Yep. The prep night is March 7th, 7 to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Full day is sewing March 11th. Yes. 10.30 to 4.30. Yes. So, so these are the little samples. Yes. Did up a couple samples. Um, this is, it's a really like, I mean, great tote. Like it's just, the size of it is awesome. It has the two exterior pockets. Um, because it is so beginner, um, I will teach a couple of extra little options um, like to add a magnetic snap on there to do a little interior swivel hook uh, like key holder um, and just little extras like how to do the binding on the tops of the bags if you like that and yeah and then these are so, going to be kits as well yeah so we'll have these <clears throat> kits up for pre-order because uh, as per usual we're missing fabric to finish them all <laughs> um but so that'll yeah. be good because then i mean you guys it's no different than really if you came in and picked it up because you will be eventually anyway so right you can see the samples and uh yeah so it's a great bag they really are awesome great really great little tote and um so for the two kits we did uh this one with the dry oil skin in this like beautiful like oyster gray color essex on the bottom and then the acroma lining so mm -hmm. one that's super chic super nice and uh minimalist and then i wanted to do one that was like really fun and bright i love this binding <clears throat> that you put on here thank you it's so cute um and then the inside is that beautiful uh acid green from uh allison glass it's like yeah I think it's called sulfur or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so something, one that's really bright and fun and uh, really cool. And, and the I dry really, oil skin on the front too. I really love this edition because I am forever trying to find my keys. Yes, this is a big tote. And if you just tuck your keys in there, you'll never find them again. <laughs> that's what you would do if you don't want your keys. <laughs> so to be able to just like hook it on your little swivel hook yeah yeah so the um the original pattern is like it's just lined on the interior with a pocket so um in the class you can either do that or i will show you how to add the strip with a magnetic snap and uh your little key hook so a few cute. options okay. um if so you want to try bag making but you are nervous that's the one it's a great start yes, it really so is that is in march it's mm -hmm. up on our website for signups yes. already. You can do that. <laughs> and then we'll get the kits up too. Yes. And kits are great because they're an awesome way, like it can be very overwhelming to pick out your fabrics, knowing like what will work, what you can use. So it's a great way to just have all the things. Yes. Yes. I know, and I placed my Emmeline hardware order yesterday. Mm. Do, do you think I remembered to get extra magnetic snaps? No, <laughs> that's don't be ridiculous. Oh <laughs> okay, Murphy's we'll law. be amending that today. Yes. Oh, I was gonna say too about the bag kits. Um, that one's really nice because the only um, extra thing you need for it is like SF one hundred and one. Oh right, right. Yeah. Like there's not. It doesn't have a lot of like different interfacings and stuff. The interfacing is very straightforward. And the reason they aren't included in the kit is because a lot of people already have them. Right. Right. So it's. And if you wanted it a little bit more structured mm -hmm. could you put uh 809 or decoville light on the would you put it on the lining probably because you can't put it on the exactly yeah, yeah i would do it on the lining either of those the decoville might be a little bit heavy for that one but i stiff. might do like decoville on the bottom just oh, to yeah. give it like a little more structure on the bottom right. but then right. you can kind of choose your interfacing if you prefer something a little bit more structured those ones are pretty relaxed right. um, because the drywall skin you can't interface but right yeah Anyways, very cool. I'm very excited. excited. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we are all very excited. Me especially. Not nervous at all. <laughs> you will be fine. It'll be fine. It'll, It'll be, be fine. fine. Yeah. I feel good about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Um, okay, I think the last thing on our list is one more class we've added mm. is the fairground yes. class. Yes, so yes, it's yes. for the fairground block of the month. Um, we have it's a set of three classes. Um, oh, oh. Um, one in March, April, and May to help you along the way for um, the fairground block of the month. Nice. So, yes, I think that's. I think that's it for today. Um, is there? Do you have quite a bit of um, space still for the fairground like block of the month in mm-hmm. general? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's still quite a few spaces available for fairground if you're interested. That one is by Wendy Williams, mm-hmm. and just that really like beautiful, really bright. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. and like so intricate, right? Mm-hmm. Like just very interesting. Um, I think. Marilyn was um, working on, during her stitching with Marilyn on Tuesday, she was working on the center medallion, which is Ooh, nice. the flowers and where the majority of the stitching is on that quilt. Nice. I'm hoping she'll have it today and you can take pictures of it. Yes. Yeah. Very exciting. So um, it's looking good. Yeah. There's a few block of the months coming up, hey? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. um, if you go onto the website under BOMs, then all of them are on there and there's lots of different styles, which right. is nice. I yeah. mean, different. There's bound to be one that will appeal to you if you right. like that kind of thing. <laughs> Marilyn's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a wishful thinking? Yeah. Like, ha, ha, ha? Or <laughs> I knew she maybe was watching. Um, okay. And then... Yeah, I mean, this Saturday is the la- is this full sew day for the making backpack, so they had a yes. good night Tuesday night. Awesome. And so we'll hopefully get some pictures of their bags Yes. when they're done on Saturday. I might have to come in for a little... Ooh, a little paparazzi action. Little, yes. <laughs> make an appearance. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Yes. Okay, well, I think that's it for the day. Yeah. Enjoy the weekend. Yes. How about Borders and Butterflies? Hey... Borders and butterflies would be amazing, Marilyn. I saw one of the butterflies. She had one of the butterflies done on Tuesday. Mm. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah. I'm always in awe of the stitching, so I can't wait to see it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye.